Now that it's November, it's time for us to prepare for the feast that will be upon us. But it's also going to be a feast in the skies above us, because there's going to be quite a few mouth-watering options for you to take a look at. It's What's Up for November 2015, and this is your Space Pod for October 30th, 2015. After the big dinner, you may want to actually hold off on the dessert because there's quite a lot of things for you to head outside and take a look at. From a naked eye meteor shower to deep sky gems that even the most accomplished astronomer will find as a good challenge to try to see. First up, M45, the Pleiades. This is a relatively young open cluster of stars that formed about 100 million years ago. You may be familiar with the pattern of the seven stars in the sky, or if you happen to own a Subaru. Only 444 light years away from us, it's an easy naked eye target to find even in skies with extreme light pollution. Look into Taurus and above the bright red star Aldebaran, you'll find the Pleiades. M44, the Beehive Cluster. Just about 600 light years away lay one of the closest large star clusters relative to our solar system, and it's about 600 million years old. A nice deep sky target, binoculars or a telescope with a wide field of view make for an excellent way to see the stars of this cluster appearing like bees swarming in the skies. To find the beehive, just look 15 degrees east of Pollux in the constellation of Cancer. M42, the Orion Nebula. It was the first nebula to be photographed in the 19th century, and arguably one of the most famous and recognizable nebulae. It sits about 1,350 light years away from us in the constellation Orion. It can be easily found as two-thirds of the way down from the top of Orion. Bright enough to be naked eye, even in somewhat light-polluted skies, it's a great target to choose if you'd like to begin learning how to view and image deep sky objects. For those of you who are an early riser slash coffee enthusiast like myself, Jupiter, Venus, and Mars are still going to be putting on quite a show this month. During October, they were clumped together tightly, but the three planets have began to spread out as the Earth comes around in its orbit relative to their positions in their respective orbits. All you need to do is look east any time two hours before sunrise to see three planets, all there to greet you to get started with your day. The Leonid meteor shower is occurring in the middle of November. It's expected to peak on November 17th, and as an annually occurring meteor shower, it puts on a good show. As with all meteor showers, you've got to get out of city lights to see it at least 50 miles away. And of course, the further, the better. And here's your moon phases. Thanks for watching this space pod. I'm Jared Head. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to us on social media. And of course, we have our Patreon campaign continuing that you can contribute to and help bring the universe to everyone who may want to see it. So, until the next space pod, keep exploring. <music>